Welcome to Club Academia, where curiosity meets knowledge. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic, the difference between true north and magnetic north. Did you know that magnetic north is constantly on the move? That's right. Unlike true north, which is fixed at the North Pole, magnetic north shifts over time due to changes in the Earth's magnetic field. This fascinating dynamic can throw off navigators and explorers by hundreds of miles. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. In today's video, we're not only going to explore the differences between true north and magnetic north, but we'll also uncover the rich history of how we discovered them and reveal seven incredible facts that will change the way you think about navigation. How Earth got its magnetic poles, the strength of its magnetic field, and the crucial role it plays in protecting life on our planet. To understand how Earth developed its magnetic poles, we need to look at the structure of our planet. Earth has a solid inner core made of iron and nickel, surrounded by a liquid outer core. As the Earth spins, the movement of molten iron creates what we call the geodynamo effect. This dynamo effect generates electric currents, which in turn produce magnetic fields. These magnetic fields combine to create a strong, overarching magnetic field around our planet, leading to the formation of magnetic poles, one in the northern hemisphere and one in the southern hemisphere. Now, let's talk about the strength of Earth's magnetic field. On average, the magnetic field strength is about 25 to 65 microteslas, depending on where you are on the planet. That's roughly 1,000 times weaker than a typical refrigerator magnet. But despite being weak, this magnetic field is vital. It extends far beyond our atmosphere, forming the magnetosphere, a protective bubble that shields Earth from harmful solar and cosmic radiation. By deflecting charged particles from the solar wind, the magnetic field protected the atmosphere from being stripped away. This allowed water vapor to remain, creating the conditions necessary for life to emerge in oceans. Solar flares and cosmic radiation are constant threats to life on Earth. The magnetic field acts as a shield, diverting charged particles away from the planet's surface. During solar storms, the magnetic field channels harmful particles toward the poles, creating beautiful auroras. While these displays are stunning, they also remind us of the protective role the magnetic field plays in our daily lives. Now, let's define what we mean by true north and magnetic north. True north refers to the point where the Earth's rotational axis meets its surface in the northern hemisphere. It's a fixed point on the globe, the North Pole. On the other hand, magnetic north is the point where the Earth's magnetic field points vertically downwards. This point is not fixed and actually shifts due to changes in the Earth's magnetic field. Now, when did we discover these concepts? The idea of true north has been known since ancient times, as navigators and explorers relied on celestial navigation to find their way. The North Star, or Polaris, is an excellent reference point for finding true north. Magnetic north was identified much later. The first known use of a magnetic compass dates back to the 11th century in China. By the 13th century, it had spread to Europe revolutionizing navigation at sea. Now, let's explore seven fascinating facts about true north and magnetic north. The magnetic declination. The angle between true north and magnetic north is called magnetic declination. This angle varies depending on where you are on Earth. In some places, it can be as much as 20 degrees or more. Magnetic Pole Movement Did you know that the magnetic North Pole is constantly moving? It has shifted hundreds of miles over the last century and continues to change due to the dynamic nature of the Earth's magnetic field. Navigational Challenges Because of magnetic declination, navigators must adjust their compasses to account for the difference between true north and magnetic north. Failure to do so can lead to significant navigation errors. True North in Mapping Maps are typically oriented to True North, which helps provide a consistent frame of reference for navigation. When using GPS, you're relying on True North for accurate positioning. Geological Influence The Earth's core is primarily made of iron, which generates the magnetic field. This geophysical property not only defines magnetic north, but also affects its movement and strength over time. Historical navigation. 
In ancient times, sailors relied heavily on the stars for navigation, using true north to guide their journeys. The introduction of the magnetic compass allowed for navigation in cloudy or stormy conditions when stars weren't visible. Military and Aviation Applications Understanding the difference between true north and magnetic north is crucial for military operations and aviation. Aircraft and military units must account for magnetic declination to ensure accurate navigation. In summary, true north and magnetic north play vital roles in navigation and understanding our planet. Whether you're exploring the wilderness or flying high in the sky, knowing the difference can make all the difference. We'd love to hear from you. What other topics would you like us to explore in future videos? Leave your suggestions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more fascinating content from Club Academia. Stay tuned for more explorations of the wonders of science. Until next time, keep questioning and stay curious.